Today we learn about MVC binding and bundling. These are the contents which I will cover in this session. Brief introduction of MVC, MVC model binder, types of MVC model binder, bundling and unification and demo to understand how we use MVC model binder and bundling and unification. Let's start with brief introduction of MVC. MVC consists of three layer architecture which have controller, model and view. Here first represents the browser and it sends request to the controller. Controller used to process the request and it sends to model. Model used to communicate with the database and uh, send the result to the controller. Again controller used to give that result to the view and view renders that result to the browser. This is all about the MVC architecture. Now coming to the MVC model binder, it maps the posted value to the .NET framework type and pass the, pass the type to the action method as a parameter. We will see in demo how uh, we are posting the values and how it is mapping to the parameter of the controller action method. These are the types of MVC binding, query string binding that is also called a simple model binding, object binding, binding to list of simple types, binding to list of complex type, custom model binding. Let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see this module binding using demo. So here three text box is there. One for employee ID, then first name, last name. On click of save, it will map to the control action method, simple model binding. Here three parameter is there, that is ID, first name and last name. So you can see here in ID, 1, 2, 3 is coming, in first name, Asu is coming, in last name, Singh is coming. So whatever we are posting from the browser, it is getting mapped to the controller action method. So let's see the view of this simple model binding. Here I have created three text box ID, first name and last name. And this is not a strongly typed model, uh, model view. So suppose here, uh, apart from employee ID, first name, last name, we have phone number, DOB, date of birth, and many fields. So what will happen? You need to specify the parameters over here to map to the action method. So if suppose 20 fields are there, then we need to specify 20 parameters here. That is not good. So to overcome this, next came binding to a model class. So in binding to model class, it will bind the data to the model. So let's see. Here I have declared one register model where I have specified the properties three properties that is id first name and last name so here you can see in the register model it's getting mapped so regardless of how many fields are there in view 
here you need to specify only one parameter and it is a strongly type view so let's see the view of binding to a model class here you can see here this view is strongly type and the benefit of using a strongly type is you can specify the error message as a annotation here and you can use this message if uh, some required field is there and you can display the message on validation field so suppose if I am removing last name So you can see here last name is required it's coming so no need to specify any client side scripting for validating the field next come the binding to the list of simple type so suppose you have uh, somewhere you need to post the two employee IDs two first name and two last name like that if you want to post So here you can see in list two IDs is coming and in first name whatever you posted in first name it's coming in last name also similarly it's coming. So here also if we increase the number of fields you need to specify the parameter like this for suppose date of birth and phone number like that some more field included in the view then here you need to specify in the parameter so it will become very long if you will specify here so better to go for strongly type binding so that so that's why next came binding to list of a complex type so let's see the view of this binding list of simple type So here you can see I have specified total of 6 fields, 2 for IDs, 2 for first name, 2 for last name. So it is not a strongly typed binding. So next is binding to list of complex type. So here if I will click on save then you can see in the model all the all the IDs like ID name last first name last name and date of birth is coming. In second one second field is coming. So it is a strongly type binding. let's see the view of this one so here you can see I have used register model to bind this view here I have used a model for text box and so whatever input will put in text box it will bind to the model and it will pass as a parameter to control action, controller action method next is custom model binding so custom model binding is like if you have not specified any uh, property and you want to use as a model property then you can use this custom model binding suppose if you have a situation where like you need to specify day month and year separately so you can't have any property like day in model month and year separately so we can pass it from here to the controller action method and there we can uh, 
do the custom model binding and using these values we can set it to the property so here suppose so here you can see first it used to go to hit to this one Western model binder custom model binding and here it will call the model binder of the I have created one custom model binder for uh, like register binder to bind the values of days year and month so here you can see I am getting ID first name last name and birth date I am making I am setting the property birth date using the requested form of year, month and day and I am setting to the properties birth date and I am returning the register model class object which will have all those values. Here you can see all those values is coming. So that's all from uh, model binder let's flip to slide and we'll go for model binder bundling and unification came to optimize the uh, fetching the result from the This technique has been introduced to MVC to improve performance of the web pages. Like whenever we render any web pages, uh, all the JavaScript and CSS file, with, uh, whatever we have referred to the to that page, used to do the HTTP request. So here, what it does, it reduces the bandwidth uses and combines multiple referred file into the single request and it used to reduce the size of the request and in javascript code it removes the white spaces and what if you have given in long variable length then it will shorten the length of the variable so you will we'll see this in uh, through demo to understand how to use the model bind, uh, bundling and unification So first I will show you how to test the performance of any page. So we have one plugin called Yslow. Then go here and run the test. So it will tell what are the problems with this web page here you can see grade which is showing that uh, this page having grade C evaluation this page having 9 external javascript try to combine them into one it will give suggestion and all it will tell that uh, minify the CSS and JavaScript, all those suggestions that we give. And it will 
tell how many request happen and uh, what is the weight of the total size of the request and you can analyze your web page performance so this one is like register without bundling so I have not used bundling here now I am using bundling and on click of test here you can see the great performance change to A. And now I will show you in the code how I have used this one. To use bundling and minification you need to enable optimization that is like true. Then only it will affect in the browser. And here one thing. In register without bundling I have referred as it is like uh, all the JavaScript and CSS file and here you can see I have used the bundling so like suppose he, this is the relative path and if you, let me go to the bundle conf, bundle dot bundle config cs and here i have referred all the all the css correspond to that register css so this is the register css and i have combined two files and make it to one request so same way for script register here you can see in bundle.config one is register and second one is one is register custom so in register custom i have specified only one file and in register i have included all the plugins together so it it is making only three requests one for css one for register custom one for register and this is the way we can specify our uh, we can combine the js or cs and we can refer we can give relative path and we need to mention this path over view here this way. So if i will see this here the bundle which i have referred every time we request it will generate some special tokens for each one this one and if we will open any file you can see it is like minified and here you can't see any space and all all comments will be removed If we will go to register without bundling, here you can see all those file is uh, rendering as it is. If we will open register.js, then you will see this in this um, big JS file is coming. So in case of bundling, it will remove all the commented part, it will remove all the spaces and it will uh, reduce the size.
so whenever we request for this page uh, it will render fast so that's all from my side thank you